Eldest daughter Lisa Marie Presley had a memoir about her life coming out next month and a sneak peek of the book is available. Lisa Marie Presley's memoir comes out next month, and fans can get a sneak peek of the upcoming book about her life. The singer, who was Elvis and Priscilla Presley's only child, was working on her memoir before her untimely passing at age 54 in 2023. She died due to complications from bariatric surgery that she underwent several years ago. Lisa Marie's daughter Riley Kia finished her memoir after her death. Wherever possible, I wrote it exactly as she said it, Riley explained in the memoir about transcribing tapes of her mother's memories which Lisa Marie kept for her. In other cases, I've edited my mother's words for clarity or to get at what I know was the root of what she was trying to convey. What mattered most to me was feeling like the end result sounded like her, that I could instantly recognize her in the pages, and I can, the 35-year-old actress continued in the excerpt obtained by People. The posthumous book is titled From Here to the Great Unknown comes out October 8 by Random House and will follow the late 54-year-old's life which included her relationship with Elvis up until he passed away in 1977 when she was nine, her previous romantic relationships, motherhood, and the tragic loss of her son Benjamin Kia which devastated her. Benjamin died by suicide in July 2020 at age 27. Lisa Marie shared her two eldest children, Riley and Benjamin, with musician Danny Kia. She and Danny married in 1988 and divorced in 1994. The 59-year-old guitarist remains close with Riley especially among the recent family tragedies. Lisa also had twin daughters Finley and Harper with then-husband guitarist Michael Lockwood in 2008. The two divorced in 2016. She was also a grandmother of one. Riley has a two-year-old daughter named Tupelo, with her husband Ben Smith-Peterson. The Zola star shared with the outlet how the tapes she transcribed are an incredible portrait of the force of nature that she was. Depending on the day and her mood, she can sound locked in or distracted, vulnerable and open or annoyed and closed off, hopeful, angry, everything. You hear her in all her complications, Riley elaborated. In an excerpt from the book obtained by People, Lisa Marie talked about the experience of attending her father's concerts. She wrote, The electricity of those shows. There's nothing I've felt that's been even close to that feeling, ever. Electrifying is such a generic word, but it really is what it felt like. I loved watching him perform. I had certain songs that I liked hurt, and how great thou art. I would ask him to sing those songs for me and he would always say yes. She added, I did not, however, like having the limelight shown on me or being asked to stand up in front of everybody. In Vegas, during his residency, he introduced Vernon, then looked toward me and I remember thinking, oh God, oh God, please don't. Lisa went on to talk about how the jailhouse rock singer also introduced her to the audience which is something she didn't like. She did love the limelight on her father and sometimes, in other less public ways, she was all for reveling in his fame with him. Then she shared an example of that when she attended school at John Thomas Diane Elvis went to parent-teach conference. She mentioned how excited she was that he was coming and could feel the palatable excitement and nerves from the teachers. Her school friends being elated increased her own elation, stating how everybody was just running around crazy. She continued, then my dad showed up. He got out of the car and he had on a respectable outfit black pants and some kind of blouse but he was also wearing a big, majestic belt with buckles and jewels and chains, as well as sunglasses. He was smoking a cigar. I met him at the car, and I walked up the walkway with him, and I just remember that feeling of walking next to him, holding his hand. Please subscribe, like and hit the notification button for more videos.